So you may have seen your favorite fashion and lifestyle bloggers and influencers posting their collages to their Instagram stories, like to know what profiles, blogs, and Pinterest and Amazon storefront pages. But you might also be wondering how exactly are they making these gift guide and style guide like posts so that you can make them for yourself and your own brand. So in this video, I'm breaking down the step-by-step -step process on exactly how you can make these same kinds of collages, both in Canva and in Photoshop. So keep on watching. If you're not too familiar with the like to know it or Amazon influencer platforms, but are interested in learning on how to make more money with affiliates, I have multiple playlists with videos explaining what these platforms are and how they can be part of your monetization strategies as a creator through affiliate marketing. Those videos will be linked in the description below for you to watch straight after this one. These style guide and gift guides are simply an interesting way to round out maybe some of your favorite finds for the week or your top recommendations to your audience rather than just posting a single photo. They give more interest to a viewer and they also give you the potential to earn more commissions by promoting multiple products all at once. So the first step in creating a collage like picture for your Pinterest, blog, Instagram, like to know it or Amazon on, you will want to decide on what products to actually include. Now, this comes down to the specific topic or maybe season for which you're creating your collage for. So for example, Mother's Day wasn't too long ago. So for this example in this video, I'm just going to create a Mother's Day inspired gift guide. And the fun thing about this is that you can actually make it even more specific, such as Mother's Day gift guide finds under $50. Where you find your products will depend on whether or not you have affiliate links associated with that website or product. So for example, like to know it is one of the most popular platforms for creators and influencers, particularly in the lifestyle and fashion space, because like to know it has affiliate links associated with many retailers and usually have higher commissions than another platform like Amazon directly, for example. However, if you are an Amazon associate or Amazon influencer, you can find products on Amazon and link them to your affiliated links. For the purpose of this Mother's Day gift guide example, I'm going to find my products through Amazon. Now you'll want to decide on the types of products that will fit your guide's theme, as well as how many products that you'll need. So I personally like odd numbers, so I'm going to go with seven. When you've found a product that you wish to include in your guide, you'll either want to save it by right clicking and saving it to your computer or you can simply take a screenshot by holding shift command and the number four on your Mac device then drag the area that you wish to screenshot. Once you've done that for all of your products you're ready for the next step which is creating your collage. So I'm going to first show you in Canva as it's usually the most popular and easiest way to create designs for creators. However for this tutorial specifically in order for it to fully work you will need to upgrade to the Canva Pro account which is honestly a good business investment if you use the platform regularly. When you have your pro account set up or logged into, you'll want to find an Instagram post canvas, or you can create one from scratch by inserting the correct Instagram post dimensions, which are 1080 by 1350 pixels. Now that you have your canvas, you can create it however you wish. I personally love to leave room at the top for some text or a main title and to add some brand colors to make it look cohesive. Now, once you've made your basic template to your liking, you can honestly reuse it over and over again, just with different products, which will save so much time the next time that you're making your next guide or collage. Next, you will drag your first photo in, you will click edit photo and you'll click remove back. Background. Canva will generate your screenshot without a background, which will make your photo and your collage just look so much more professional than if you were to just simply keep your basic screenshots. You want to repeat this step for all your photos that you bring into your collage. And when you have removed the background on every photo, you'll want to just simply resize your photos and rearrange them in a way that makes sense to you or that is just simply pleasing to the eye. It's also really fun to play with overlapping to give the collage a little bit of dimension. When you're done with your collage, you will simply click share, download as PNG and you are ready to share your collage with the world. What I really love about these collages is that you can repurpose them on multiple platforms. So you can post them on your Instagram feed, your Instagram stories, your like to know it app, your blog, your storefront, etc. Like one piece of content can be stretched so far because you may also have just different audiences on different platforms as well. Now that I've shown you how to make these guides on Canva, I think Photoshop is definitely worth mentioning since a lot of creators also work with Photoshop. And if you're an Adobe fan like me, you can literally get an Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom package for $20 a month, which is the perfect creator bundle in my opinion, or you can also get one app like Photoshop for $10 a month. Photoshop has also really stepped it up when it comes to the user friendliness of the software. You no longer need to be a super professional user to enjoy the benefits that Photoshop has to offer. When you first open Photoshop, you will want to create a new project with the same dimensions as in Canva, which again is 1080 by 1350 pixels. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to create the same kind of layout that I did in Canva. So for the title section, you can create a solid block by selecting shape 
and dragging it over the top half of your collage. You can change the color using the bucket tool. I also like to add a line to separate the top from the bottom and you can use the line tool and press shift as you drag the line across the page. You can easily create a title by using the text tool and you can change the font and sizing accordingly on the right hand side column. Now that you have a template created just like I showed you earlier in Canva, you can use this template over and over again to keep your collages consistent and start building brand recognition. Now is a really fun and cool part and a recent feature Photoshop introduced, which is that when you drag your photo into Photoshop, you simply click enter and then this toolbar pops up which says remove background and instantly Photoshop will remove the background of that photo. Sometimes Photoshop might not get it right every time. However, you can either bring back the missing part of your image by using the eraser tool and selecting the black color in the color section at the bottom and fill in the missing components. To resize a photo in Photoshop, you'll click Command and the letter T until a blue box appears around your image. Then you'll click Shift and drag one corner to resize the image. Once you have done that for all your images, you can move them around to see where they will look best. What can be a little bit confusing in Photoshop is that every item on your canvas becomes a layer, which you will see in the bottom right hand section of Photoshop. Therefore, if you wish to overlap certain photos, you will need to bring the layer of that image on top of the one that you want it to sit on. Photoshop is a bit of a learning curve. However, once you understand the basic principles of layers and the keyboard shortcuts, it really does become easier with time. Once you've created your collage to your liking, you will click file, export, and save your image wherever you'd like, and then you're ready to post your collage to the world. Another software worth mentioning where you can also create your gift guide or style guide like collages is PicMonkey. Now, to be honest, I don't have a ton of experience with PicMonkey. However, it is very comparable to Canva and Photoshop and thought it would be worth mentioning because it is currently the cheapest option of them all at $7.99 per month. As you can see, creating your collages for your blog, Instagram, like to know it and Amazon are really quite simple and fun to make, especially when you've created your initial template, which then you can refer back to time and time again and fill it in with new products, which you can then link to as well. If you found this video useful, be sure to like, subscribe and share with a creator with whom you think this could really help. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.